Hi guys, welcome back. Valentine's Day is just a very few short weeks away and I have some early on nail art inspiration for you guys. I love pink nail polish and all that girly gushy stuff, so I've combined the typical Valentine's Day color scheme for a feminine and romantic look. I want to take a few quick moments to welcome all my new subscribers as I've noticed quite the hike in newcomers. Welcome and thank you guys so much for subscribing. Along with the newcomers, I equally appreciate all the loyal viewers who've been subscribed to me already. Thank you all for giving me the best gift anyone could ever give me, which is your time. I genuinely appreciate your time and hope you'll enjoy all the fun nail art to come. So let's get straight on to this nail art tutorial. If you guys want to see how I achieve this look, you're in the right place, so keep on watching. I'm starting out by applying one coat of base coat to protect my nails. Next, I'm applying two coats of a pastel pink nail polish to all nails, followed by one coat of a quick drying top coat. As I do before any nail art, I protect my skin and cuticle area with a latex barrier. If you happen to have allergies to latex, please reference the description box down below for latex-free options. Once the latex barrier has fully dried, it's finally time for some nail art. I'm using various images from the Lena Nail Art Supplies Stamping Plate Twirls and Swirls 01. Along with Twinkle Tea Stamping Polishes in the shades Lit and Glow Up. Starting off with my index fingernail, I'm doing a half red and half white swirly design. For my middle nail, I'm layering two images together and I really love this plate because it has a lot of images that were created to be layered over top of one another. Moving on to my ring fingernail, I'm keeping things rather simple with a red heart. Lastly, we have the pinky nail and it's basically a repeat of the index nail except I've alternated the colors which you'll see in the final reveal. Using tweezers, I'm removing the latex barrier and decided to do any excess cleanup off camera. Lastly, to seal in the nail art, I'm using the new Clear Jelly Stamper Smear Not Smudge Resistant Top Coat and I've used this a few times and you guys, I've got to say, I really, really love this stuff and I feel like I need to purchase a few more bottles because I don't ever want to be without it because it does a fabulous job in keeping all the nail art intact. So here we have the final and completed look and I'm really digging the classic color scheme that Valentine's Day brings. However, I do want to play up with out of the box color scheme ideas for Valentine's Day looks. So if you guys have any ideas, feel free to let me know down below. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you back in the next one. Until then, remember, creativity is at your fingertips. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!